All right, thanks for watching. And today I would like to give you a very neat criterion that tells us when the solution of an equation exists or not. And that's what I like to call kind of the rank criterion. But before we start, just a little geometric fact about solutions, so which will help us in our criterion. So in other words, when is a system consistent? When does AX equal B has a, have a solution? Well, that is true if and only if B is in the column space of A. So if you think of the column space, which by the way is the span of the columns of A, as the info contained in A, then the only way AX equals B is consistent is if B is in the info contained in A. In other words, you can kind of express B in terms of A. And let me just illustrate this with an example. So what would it mean for this to have a solution? 1, 1, 1, 1, x1, x2 equals 0, 1, which by the way is inconsistent, but equivalently how can we show this? Well, notice matrix multiplication, you can think of it as a linear combo. So that would be x1, 1, 1, plus x2, 1, 1, equals 0, 0, sorry, 0, 1. And this is just equivalent to saying that B is in the span of 1, 1, 1, 1. So 0, 1 is in the span of 1, 1, 1, 1. But this is just B, and the span of the columns of A is precisely the column space of A. So this is kind of an example slash proof of this little fact. All right, but this is also a painful to, you know, uh, it's kind of a pain to check because, you know, how can we, uh, we have to find a column space of A, and then we have to find if B is in it, and this is basically equivalent to solving the system. Luckily, there's a much easier criterion to figure this out, and that's what I call the rank criterion. So a theorem, and this is what we'll prove today. Namely, our system is consistent. Is consistent if and only if adding B to A doesn't change the rank at all. So if and only if the rank of the augmented matrix is equal to the rank of our original matrix. And this one, I can promise you, it's much easier to check than the other one because, and We'll see this either in this video or, lay, or in another video that this is kind of equivalent also to those other cute criteria where there's a pivot in every row or whatever you like, else you like. So, In other words, as I said, this gives us a much easier way of checking if something is consistent. So for example, I can consider our equation 1, 1, 1, 1 x equals 0, 1, this is A, this is B, well, the rank of A, that's the rank of 1, 1, 1, 1, and to calculate that rank, just row reduce, and remember, row reduction doesn't affect the rank at all, so that is the rank of 1, 1, 0, 0, and this has one pivot. So the rank of A is 1, but let's see what happens if we add B to your matrix. Then the rank of AB, that's the rank of okay, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. Right? This is A and this is B. And then you row reduce, if you want, that's the rank of, in this case, 1, 1, 0, and then minus, so 0, 0, 1. And notice this has two pivots, so the rank is 2. And because 2 is not equal to 1, 
those two ranks are not the same, and therefore you conclude that this equation has no solution. Which, in theory, it gives us a criterion without even finding the solution, which is neat. But, um, so it's nice, and now let me prove this. And by the way, again, what is that saying? If a system is inconsistent, that happens when you kind of add new information to A. If B is not in the info of A, and that's why the ranks are not the same. Um, and this is similar kind of to our geometric description, where B is in the column space of A. Okay, so let's prove this. So well, let's show if a system is consistent, then the ranks are the same. So suppose A has the following columns. A is V1, dot, 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 Vn. Then the column space of A is just a span of those vectors, V1 up to Vn. Now, we know that Ax equals to B is consistent. So we know that B is in the column space of A. And by the way, the reason we do column spaces is because if we take the dimension, that gives us the rank. So let's calculate the column space of the augmented matrix. Oh, by definition, that is the span of the first n columns, which are V1 up to Vn and you add B, because again, A, B is just V1 up to Vn and B. But you see, B is already in the column space, so adding B to the span doesn't do anything. So in particular, you can safely remove B from the span without changing anything. So. For example, if this vector is two times this, then this one becomes unnecessary. And same for any linear combos. So this is in fact the same as the span of V1 up to Vn. But that's just the column space of A. And therefore, the two column spaces are the same. A, B is the column space of A. So now just take the dimension, so the rank of AB equals to the dimension of the column space of AB, which is the dimension, again, those two are the same, of the column space of A, and that's the rank of A. That's one direction, like the band, and now let's do the other direction. Let's show that if the ranks are the same, then Ax equals B is consistent. So, I did not have this in my notes, so a bit improvised, but suppose that the rank of AB equals to the rank of A. And then show. Show basically Ax equals B is consistent, so show that B is in the column space of A. Okay, how do we do this? I think the easiest thing is with bases. So um, suppose you have a basis for the column space of A. So let V1 up to Vk Again, just k arbitrary vectors, so be a basis for the column space of A. Okay. And here, what is k? By definition, it's the dimension of the column space of A, which is the rank of A. In 
particular because it's a basis, this set is linearly independent. Okay? Now, this set then, because it's linearly independent, V1 up to Vk, it's a linearly independent set, set of, uh, I guess it's a linearly independent subset. of the bigger matrix, so the column space of A with B, with K vectors. But what is K? K is the rank of A, which is also the rank of A with B which is, if you want, the dimension of the column space of A, B. So what do we have? We have a linearly independent subset of this space with as many vectors as the dimension of the space. Then what this follows then that this is a basis. So V1 up to Vk is a basis. of this column space. And, um, and again, that's because, for example, if you have three linearly independent vectors in R3, it's a basis for R3. So a linearly independent set that's as big as possible, it's a basis, but notice, so it's a basis of this column space, so the span of those vectors equals to the whole column space of the bigger matrix. Now notice, B, it's in that matrix, so in particular B is in that column space. So B in particular, it's in the span of V1 up to Vk. But what is that span? Because this set is a basis for the column space of A, it spans all of the column space of A. So in particular, B is in the column space of A, and therefore, AX equals B is consistent, which I completely improvised, but it worked. Uh, um, all right, so if you like this, and next time I'll also uh, give some consequences of this little theorem. And if you like this and you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.